geometry formulas, and I'm going to give them to you. You got your angle formulas, your arcs and your chords, your perimeter, your circumference, 2D area, lateral area, and total surface area, volume, and more. Let's see what the more, oh my gosh, linear equation, slope formula, circle in the coordinate plane, basic trig, and quit. I quit. Ah, let's do it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, angle formulas. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at all that. You can press pause on the video. Huh? <laughs> Surprise. Ox and chords. No, not those kind of chords. These kind of things. It's a little confusing. Maybe that's not the best part of this. Let's go to perimeter and circumference. Oh, that one's easy. I like it. I can read it. Number four, 2D area. Sometimes you forget all the details. It'd be good to help you. Oh, lateral area and total surface area. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I would have done better in geometry. Oh, what could have been? What could have been? Oh, prism, cube, cylinder, regular pyramid, cone, sphere volumes. Oh, my goodness. Let's go to more. Oh, linear equations. Sometimes they pop you with that geometry. Let's go to the uh, more menu again, and then let's go to slope formula. Because, again, you, sometimes you need to know the delta y, delta x thing. Okay, kids? And then we go to uh, circle in the coordinate plane, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, tells you the center of the radius. Then we go to the basic trig. Oh my goodness, it even has theta. Oh my goodness, how does he do it? It's amazing. This is available at mcstutoring.com. Come get them while they're hot, and I'll see you next time with a little more explanation about how to use Geoform 1, available at mcstutoring.com. Save your bacon in geometry class. Get it while you can. See you next time, kiddos.